Last question is from Do to Do. What is your opinion on <laughs> drop sets versus straight sets? Okay, so a drop set is when you we'll use a let's say we'll use curls as an example. So I do curls with let's say thirty five pound dumbbells. I do let's say ten reps, and now it gets real hard. Maybe I could do one or two more, but I stop. Then I grab thirty pound dumbbells or twenty five pound dumbbells. I do as many as I can, and then I got to stop, and then I'll grab a twenty pound or fifteen pound dumbbell. So a drop set, also known as a strip set is when you do X amount of reps with a weight and immediately switch to a lighter weight to be able to squeeze out more reps. And usually there's anywhere between two to five steps. I mean, you could do what's called run the rack, which is a drop set where you're going from, you're going five pounds down and you're doing like six steps or whatever. It's a high intensity technique. It's a technique that's got value if used sparingly. Do not use these all the time. Use them rarely. And then it's got some value. Straight sets is nine, where, where, where your set should be 95% of the time. And a straight set is you do your reps and you rest, and then you do your reps and then you rest. You rest, you know, between one to three minutes. That's 95% of your workout should be straight sets. The problem is a lot of people learn about these intensity type amplifiers, these, you know, drop sets and, and forced reps and negatives and all that stuff. And when you do them the first time, they feel amazing. You get a yeah. crazy pump and it's like, oh my God, this is amazing. And then they do them all the time. This is a fast track towards overtraining, fast track towards halting your progress. So that, that was going to be the point that I made, which is th these are all great tools, uh, cluster sets, drop sets, pyramid sets, super sets, giant sets, like, and they're all different than your traditional straight sets. Straight sets, I think, should be a bulk of your training and your, your workout regimen. And then occasionally you use these tools, like all the ones I just listed, to intermittently interrupt your normal training. But what happens to Sal's point again, I'm just going to piggyback off of it is people do something like this. And I, and by the way, this is not only understanding the science and speaking from that angle, but also the experience of doing this wrong yeah. for so many years myself is you do that and you're like, Oh shit, the pump, oh, crazy. the pump, my arms blew up or, Oh my God, that work. That was the best chest work I have forever. And then all of a sudden you marry that and you become that person who does that all the time. So just beware of that. It's a great way. Now, how do I, how do I intermittently do this today? The, the things that like uh, I think are faster, like intensity, they're they're intense because the rest periods are short from, you know, when you talk about clusters and drop sets, things like yeah. that, where you go boom, 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 boom with no rest. So I like to use it when, when I'm in a time crunch. It's like- uh, I think that's the most valuable. I do too. I think yeah. it's like, so I know I shouldn't do it all the time. I know it's a valuable tool to interrupt my workouts once a month. Or, or sometimes once every two or three months, there's a workout where I'm like, ah, shit, I've only got 20 minutes today and I really wanted to get a good workout. Oh, you know what? I haven't done cluster sets or drop sets forever. I'm drop setting shit today. Yeah. And, that, and then now, I, not only do I have this novel stimulus because I don't do it that often, uh, but I also save time and get a full great workout in. Yeah. You know what? You know what's a, a rule of thumb with these is count all those as sets if you're trying to yeah. figure out your volume. In other words- a mistake I used to make was w I would count one drop set as one, it was set. one? <laughs> <laughs> Cause it was all one set, yeah, right? But reality, if I drop down four times, four sets. Yes. So if I'm replacing straight sets with drop sets, every time I drop, that's all a set. So if I do four drops, that's four sets towards my shoulder workout. Which is why one. it's an incredible time saver. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can literally take your, your your basic straight set workout that takes you an hour and decide, hey, today I'm in a time crunch. I haven't done this in a long time. Mm -hmm. And you make everything a drop set and you're going to be done in half the yeah, time. Yeah, I'm going to drop straight cluster strip it. <laughs> Yeah, it's a magic mic workout. Wow. Is, Justin, do, do, did you ever do... Do you even know what any of these are? <laughs> I know. I'm, just, I'm just listening. I'm like, yeah. you guys are reminding me. Like, I've done all of them, but I don't remember the names. There's no real They're athletic... They're always sexy. Like, why are they all these sexy names? Because like, you know why? They make... So they, they do well for studies, right? So if someone... Okay. You put somebody in a... A, a six week study and show yeah. them use cluster sets. You're going to see all this off the charts, like yeah. response. Cause it's because mm -hmm. of the intensity, intensity, right. And it's unique and different. It makes good for magazine clip out article stuff. That's why, Okay, you know, but for athletic purposes, I can't, I mean, aside from maybe strength stamina, uh, you might give someone like isolated strength stamina and a particular muscle. But I think for sports, you'd see more valuable, more value from maybe combining two or three exercises, not doing, the same exercise, maybe a, maybe a compound lift like a squat, yeah. but really, what are you going to get? You're going to get stamina out of it's it. It's more of a hypertrophy yeah. based yeah. tool. Yeah, it's a bodybuilding. Yeah, thing. it's yeah. more of a bodybuilding yeah. tool than it is a sports performance tool. Totally. For sure. Look, if Love you it. like fitness, but you're sick and tired of the fact that the fitness industry puts out garbage, literally ninety percent of stuff on the internet 
about fat loss, muscle building, and fitness is just crap. Try this. Go to askmindpump.com. This is our AI model. It'll answer your fitness question only based off of all of our episodes. So it's coming from us. That means it's accurate. Askmindpump.com. You can also find all of us on Instagram. Justin is at Mind Pump Justin. I'm at Mind Pump DeStefano. And Adam is at Mind Pump Adam.